morning, Catherine. Today is Thursday, the 6th of February. I'm going to teach you how to snow day in the city. Step one, sleep in. My alarm goes off at 9 a.m. Monday through Thursday because I have class at 10 and at 9 o'clock. Mine and my roommate's alarm went off and we checked our text messages and it said we don't have class. So then we shut off our alarms and went back to sleep until noon. Step two, eat breakfast at noon. I sat in my common room with my roommates and ate Cheerios. It was a toddler's dream. Step three, refuse to leave the building. I had it a little easier because I have a, uh, a dining place in my building. Step four, catch up on YouTube videos. I watched a lot of them. I watched uh, some YouTube Nation and I watched the CTFXC video for that day and your video. And then I also watched CTFXEs from the beginning, which is what I've been doing. I've been starting at the beginning and trying to work my way back up to where I am right now. Step five, watch the snow fall from the window in your common room or your bedroom. I watched it in our common room when I was on the computer, which leads me to step six, which is play video games. Uh, my roommate Kendi and I played Knack, which is the children's game. It's really, really hard but it's really, really fun as well. So we were playing that yesterday. Tomorrow I have strangers coming to look at my room because it is one of the accepted students days and we're gonna have people walking in looking at what a suite looks like in Piano Row and they're gonna look at the laundry room and the max and where the mail is and all of that sort of stuff. So we've offered up our room as a uh, test subject. I have to clean. I cleaned some of my desk I just have to uh, do my laundry tomorrow and clean around here so that way it looks less like a college student lives in it and more like I live in it. So I had a quiz today and it uh, took me less than an hour but I had an hour allotted and I had to identify four quotations like uh, John Green did in US History, in Crash Course US History where he had the mystery document. I had to do that for four quotations out of the readings that I was supposed to have done for my American literature class, of which I did, I think, two. I had to identify the author, the work, and the significance of it, each of them. I was allowed one sheet of paper for all four of them, so I was essentially allowed half a sheet of paper for each, and it was hard. And my professor actually told us that if we didn't know the author, we could just go up to him and say, hi, I don't actually know who the author is of this, and he would tell us because he didn't want us writing into a black hole. Catherine, I'll see you tomorrow.